Jules, talisa ng galeng at talino. Yan po ang ipinamala sa mga estudyanteng kasama natin dito ngayon na lumaban po sa Intel International Science and Engineering Fair 2019 sa Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Wow, syempre Diane, nakakatawang isipin na yung mga kabataang Pinoy, hindi lamang selfie experts, That's kundi right. mga future scientists din. Kaya naman, let's all welcome, fresh from the USA, let's all welcome, ang kanilang advisor from Taguig Science High School, Ms. Janne Mamansag. Good morning. Good morning po. And our students from Taguig Science High School, Ana Beatriz Suavengo. Good morning. Kathleen Chloe Antonio. At si John Eric Agaraw. Good umaga po. First of all, welcome to Bagong Pilipinas and congratulations for Thank representing po. the Philippines. Yan na naman isang pride mm. and honor na naman ang ibinigay nila sa ating bansa. But first of all, I'd like to ask, how was your experience so far? Dito sa Intel International Science and Engineering Fair 2019. Actually, it was fun and overwhelming. Po at the same time, mm -hmm. um, then fun and overwhelming at the same time to the point that we can actually say that uh, we are very privileged to be there. Because um, we get to represent our country. Yeah. Po and present our project in an international platform and be judged by. Um, professionals in the field and once in a lifetime experience oh, once in a lifetime mm -hmm. experience then na meet po namin yung mga iba't ibang contestant from uh, more than 80 countries sa 80 Philippines countries. kayo lang talaga no labing dalawa po kami ah 12 ah, okay okay so bago natin pag-usapan yung project ninyo mismo kamusta yung preparation sa inyo kasi for sure talagang hinasa yun ng ilang araw o buwan do so, um, since nasa life science category po mm. kami, and yung school po namin, uh, hindi, uh, wala po siyang necessary laboratory facilities po to conduct the experiment. Okay. So, nag-collaborate po kami sa um, Institu Institute of Science and Technology Research. Tapos, sinupervise po kami ng qualified scientist, si mm. Professor Gary Antonio C. Lirio. And then, Ayun po, doon po sa lab, natutunan po namin lahat ng kailangan naming malaman about mm -hmm. microorganisms, okay. about um, plants. Mm -hmm. And yun po, prior to ISF po, um, talagang may intensive training pong hinanda po sa amin mm -hmm. yung DepEd na one whole week, um, various mentors from, from different uh, universities mm -hmm. yung nag-help po talaga para ma-polish yung papers namin. And at the same time, tulungan po kami sa presentation para ma-deliver po namin ng maayos yung, um, yung project po namin, ma-share po namin sa buong mundo. Okay, speaking of your project, tell us more about the project. So, ano po, living in an agricultural country po, our study aims to boost the production of coffee. Um, by finding a natural and novel solution to the rampant um, or devastating brown eye spot disease of coffee using um, endophytic bacteria. So, endophytic bacteria po are like good bacteria or beneficial microorganisms inside plants that could um, potentially act as bodyguards po, protecting mm -hmm. the plant from a specific attack of a disease. Okay. Uh, sounds very overwhelming and very <laughs> very technical. Pero ma'am, uh, of course, um, kayo yung mentor, advisor ng, ng batch ng students na to. Yes. How was the experience handling this group and of course, going there representing the Philippines as a finalist? How does it feel? And also, just tanong na rin natin, yung preparation, yes. di ba? Yung journey na preparation. Actually, sobrang um, nerve-breaking yung preparations namin. Kasi hindi naman kagad kami yung mga kasali doon. So, marami levels. kaming levels okay. na pinagdaanan. So, nag-start kami sa school level namin. Okay. Uh, we're in maraming mga studyanteng researcher. Mm. Pero from those students, I, I chose them to represent uh, our school. So, mm. in-endorse kami ng uh, principal namin, si Dr. Nelson S. King Tong sa division level. And from the division level, kalaban naman namin yung mga school sa division namin. And mm. there are 16 high schools sa division namin na kalaban namin. So, tagig pa lang yun. Opo, tagig pa lang yun. And luckily, nanalo naman si last first place. So, kung sino mananalo sa first place sa division level, siya yung pupunta sa regional level. And from the regional level, lahat ng uh, city sa Manila, mm -hmm. yun naman po ang kalaban namin sa life science category. Mm -hmm. So, pinagpalian yung 16 uh, division na yun, uh, pinagpilian naman ulit kung sino ulit yung mananalo. Luckily again, sila po yung nag-emerge wow, as first place. And then, sa national naman po. So mm -hmm. from the national, buong Pilipinas naman po ang naglaban-laban sa mm -hmm. national. And from the uh, entries from all over the Philippines, sila pa rin po yung nag-emerge from that uh, wow. part. So sa national level po dun, pa lang po yun. Then after that national level, hindi pa rin po kami sure na sila yung pupunta o sasama sa 
sa Arizona kasi kailangan pang i-proofread ulit yung mm-hmm. papers nila kung talaga bang uh, pasado siya sa standard pang ISEF. Okay. Okay, Miss Janet, I believe tapos na yung competition, but what's next for this uh, team? Etong mga students na to, are we going to still uh, do more projects for them, more research para mas ay, di ba pwede rin tayo makatulong, mm. Jules, di ba, through the projects of these uh, kids? Actually, before pa silang sumali, uh, pumunta na kasi kami sa community. So okay. pumunta kami sa mga coffee farms. Mm-hmm. Tapos dun, dun rin sila nag ng interview sa mga coffee farmers. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, pumunta rin kami sa research, uh, coffee research of the Philippines wherein uh, naging interesado sila sa project ng mga bata. Tapos uh, nagkaroon ng instance na gusto nila na if ever na gusto nang ituloy ng mga bata yung mga projects nila, Tama pwedeng makipag-partner sa re- uh, Coffee Research of the Philippines. Wow, so, so may commitment ng binigay. May commitment. So kaya nga sabi nga ng mga bata, win or lose, mm-hmm. meron pa rin pupuntahan yung purpose na gusto That's nilang right. uh, i-pursue. Saka so, yung magandang to, takeaway ko dito, nilubog nyo talaga sa community oh, yung paper. Talaga, Kasi iba, very academic, the research lang, pero kayo pumunta, pumunta kayo mismo talaga, sa community. Nag-interview, okay. tapos inalam talaga namin kung ano po talaga yung problem. Mm-hmm. Alright, baby, before we end, any advice that you would like to give sa mga students students mm-hmm. din na aspiring maging katulad ninyo? Ah, um, para po sa akin, sa mga um, Filipino students, um, don't be afraid to challenge yourself po. Um, try nyo yung lahat ng bagay kasi uh, doon mo malalaman kung saan ka, tala- ka talaga nag-excel. And um, yung research, hindi naman talaga siya ganun nakakatakot. Uh, just as long na uh, alam mo yung purpose nyo po, alam nyo po kung, kung sino po yung, um, yung mga beneficiaries na talagang matutulungan ng research nyo, talagang um, um, talagang may mapupuntahan mm-hmm. and makaka-contribute sa society po. Ako po, I just wanna share na hindi naman po ako yung student na best in science, best in math, statistics, or even in academics. Um, average student lang po ako. But what made me qualified to be part of the Philippine team is my passion, mm-hmm. commitment, um, determination, and my faith in the Lord. So I hope um, itong testimony ko will serve an ins- as an inspiration to the young students out there. Na natatakot i-pursue yung science. Mm-hmm. Ako naman po, in our school, in schools po kasi, research is a compliance. Pero ang message ko lang po sa mga kapwa ko is, um, kahit ganun yung ano, touring sa research sa compliance lang siya ganun parang gamitin pa rin ang mga students na yun as a ground para pag-aralan yung mga bagay na they are interested mm-hmm. and passionate about and also ayan nga yung kasi yung research hindi naman po yung basta basta ginagawa so kailangan fully committed ka kasi it's really hard to make sense out of something if you're you're you are really not into it. That's Ganun. right. All right. Maraming maraming salamat again. Congratulations. And may you continue to serve as an inspiration, lalo na sa mga kabataan mm. ngayon. Di ba? Ang yes. ganda nung nangyari sa kanila, no? hindi lang ba sa project and ano, requirements sa school, pero nakatulong pa sa community. Sana ma-implement yan soon and we're looking forward na makover din yung story ninyo. Thank you so much. Muli nakapanayam natin. Mula po sa Tagig Science High School, kanyang advisor, Miss Janet Mamansag, at ang ating mga students, Anna Beatrice Wavenko, Kathleen Chloe Antonio, at John Eric Thank you so much.